Hello, Pananda. Good afternoon. Croeso Irventer, welcome to the venture. You join me here quite late this afternoon. Uh, there's been a few things going on, and I'm not normally here on a Thursday. Uh, but to kick off straight away, because they're in my hand, a bit of Aethar Koch, some lost property, got some lovely white gloves that were on top of the ship. Uh, before I forget, it is UN International Day for Intolerance. Now, that's not to promote intolerance, um, but to actually promote the opposite. And uh, the link that I thought was there for play is that you know people from different uh, ethnic backgrounds, uh, social groups, when you put children together and they play completely on their own, um, lots of boundaries are broken down, uh, language, um, it almost becomes irrelevant, it's like music. You don't need to speak the same language to play tick. You don't even have to have the same word for tick, as we know across the different counties uh, in the north. That you know, Denbyshire they say tip, in Wrexham they say tick or tag. Um, so lots of those boundaries are broken down and barriers are broken down um, just through play. So uh, I think we observe that almost every day of the year here at the venture. Um, we were closed last night. That was due to uh, illness. Unfortunately, two members of our staff uh, were off ill. Uh, so we couldn't open the playground. A big shout out to Bronson, who is still unwell, unfortunately. She's uh, laid up in bed, so a big brush uh, of to you, Bronson. Also to our senior play worker, Jody. Uh, she's under the weather at the moment, so big lots of love to Bronson and Jody. We hope that you're both feeling better uh, very soon and we have you back on the playground. Um, so I've had a quick scout around the playground, but obviously because we've been closed, there's not a lot of evidence. But one bit that there is, we're just going to go up here, up the side of the slide. And this is actually something that I put in the other day, and it's left some evidence. So the children have been struggling to get up onto there so that they can get round the slide. So I've just, literally, it's not secure at all, or sturdy. Uh, it's just a pallet that we've had donated by Westdale Services Limited. Uh, Big shout out and thank you to Westall Services Limited. Anything else that you have come in will be greatly received. Thank you. Um, so yeah, it's just a pallet. It's just been nailed on really simply on the side there. It's sturdy enough. It'll hold me. Um, but as you can see from these mucky footprints, it's getting a lot of use. And also, the sand has appeared. So again, ooh, I'm slipping. <laughs> this sand is just evidence that it's coming off uh, children's shoes and onto the walkway there in a greater volume and just shows that it's getting used. Another one is just around the other side. Um, I put some steps on the bench that's around there. If you remember from months and months ago, we had an old school bench. Oh God, I'm gonna jump. Ah! <laughs> we had an old school bench uh, that made its way into the nature by the big tree house. And then we put it around here just so that access to this part of the structure was easier. Um, and then when the home educators were here for the first time, a little one tried to walk up it and they slipped because it's a slippy surface and sort of gave the head a tap on the bench. So what I've done, dead simple, just put a few blocks of wood to act as some steps going up. And as you can see from the evidence of the grass being worn away, it's being used. So bingo, job done. So sometimes it can be very little details and a little bit of uh, intervention on behalf of the play workers to make something work. See, that is much easier to get up. I don't have to give it a run and risk smacking my forehead on it. Uh, so that's the state of play on the venture today. Also, a belated Penboys Happis to Liz Edwards, the dementia support worker for Wrexham that comes on behalf of the Alzheimer's Society Cymru um, to do a dementia drop-in here at the venture. Now, for those of you who may not have joined the dots, Elizabeth Edwards it's actually my mother, <laughs> Mummy Edwards to me. Um, so just to reiterate that message of if you have any concerns about friends or family um, who may be having memory difficulties, who you may suspect um, uh, could have a diagnosis of dementia or be in need of a diagnosis, or if you yourself have concerns about um, memory loss, then you can come to the venture to one of our dementia drop-in sessions um, if you have concerns and you don't want to get in touch with the Alzheimer's Society Cymru directly, you can come and visit us here um, and we can pass on that information for you. 
So that's the state of play. I'm considering I haven't done an awful lot. I'm out of breath. Uh, but there's an absolute lovely golden glow on the playground this afternoon. Uh, hopefully it's going to be a really fun night of play uh, for the children and young people tonight. We've got play workers Leon and Emma. They will be uh, commanding and holding the fort here uh, and captaining the ship uh, tonight. So um, if you're a child or a young person you want to come down and play, please do. We'll be open from four o'clock um, and we'd love to see you. So, Diolchem Gwilio, thank you for watching. And I'll see you soon. ta ta -ruan. I'm back! I forgot! <laughs> I knew there was something I was forgetting. Tomorrow, from 4 o'clock, it'll be during our normal play session, uh, we are celebrating children in need by having a pyjama party. So I'm going to make sure I've got a nice set of pyjamas to come on the bus in tomorrow. Probably get a few weird looks. But yeah, from 4 o'clock tomorrow, we're having our children in need pyjama party. Uh, so if you want to come on down and join in the festivities, you can do from 4 o'clock. Diolchem Gwilio Eto, thank you for watching again, and I will see you soon, maybe not as soon as I said before. Ta-ta everyone! <laughs>